Hello, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem once again. We're in our Foundry VTT series. Uh, we've had another number of comments from people regarding the issues that I've had with the game engine for D&D. Uh, that's 3.0. Um, there's been a couple of updates to fix a couple of the bugs that came on release. Now, one of the things that I've had a problem with is the fact that the applying spell effects doesn't seem to be working for me. Um, it's supposed to give me a little box in chat. It's not happening. So what I thought I would do is I have started a completely new uh, new game. Uh, I've only created this one scene. Just pick this random map and I've thrown three characters on there. One test character that I put together myself, this one here, and two of the pre-made characters. I've just thrown them on here. So we've got no mods. We've got nothing. This is completely clean, uh, completely new start. It's possible that some of my issues come from the fact that I have installed and uninstalled mods on my game platform several times um, for the Stormwreck Isle and we've tested things and we've written macros and it could be stuff conflicting. So I just want to try this as a completely clean thing. So here we are, I've got my three characters here and in theory we should get this working. So let's just go to my chat which is completely clean and let's start with opening up this Dragonborn Cleric. So we're going to use our Bless spell because it's what we always use. So let's say we want to cast Bless and I want to cast it on both of these two other characters. Now to my mind that's where I'm targeting my spell. Probably ought to target myself as well. That's the three people my Bless is going to cover. So let's click Bless. I'm going to cast Spell and look what we have here. In the chat I don't have the apply effect it doesn't show it's not working <laughs> this is the problem I've been encountering um, because I have had it come up but most of the time it doesn't so what's going on there let's recharge this I'm going to clear that again uh, and let's try it once more I'm going to cast bless and it still didn't work with everything not targeted so I was hoping this was going to work and the reason why I was hoping this was going to work because I had a quick little test in here beforehand when I set it up and it did work and now it's not. So what is going on? I don't understand. Let's try this character over here, um, this test character because I threw some spell abilities on them as well. So I'm going to, go, going to clear my chat log just so we know exactly what we're looking at. It's nice and clear. Uh, and here we go. Cast Bless and again. Nothing. Um, <laughs> no options there. What about Mage Armor? Oh look, Mage Armor has done it. Here's the, here's the thing. So this is the bit that we're looking for. This affects. Okay. And if I open that up, I can then apply that. So I haven't got any on this character. I haven't got... You see, these are inactive effects. Just creating these characters, it's put them as inactive effects. So let's cast Mage Armor. It's now become an active effect. And you saw we had the... We've got the little icon that we've been using dfreds for we don't need to use dfreds now because it does it itself uh, it came up and said bless and it has a uh, sorry not bless mage armor and it has applied that and we've got a timer there which is good that's what we would be expecting but why can't i cast bless it won't work what about if i do shield now it should only work on myself again it's came up and give me effect. Now what if I select somebody else? Okay, so it's applying the spell to the selected character, or sorry, the selected token, not the targeted token. So that's important for us to know. So if I target this person and select myself and cast shield again, I get my effect thing, I can click that, apply that effect, it's it's applied it to the token that's selected, not what's targeted. So when I was looking in the other version where we've got defreds and everything else on, one of the things I said, is, oh, it's slightly annoying, is that it's not casting a spell on who you're targeting, it's casting it on the token. Well, even in the base 3.0, or 3.0.3 at the moment, um, even in the, the, the standard with no mods and things, that's the standard behavior that the spell does is who is selected. 
So that's not necessarily a big problem. It's just, you know, you get used to. You target what you're going to attack with a spell. But if it's a effect that you're casting, such as Bless, etc., then it's going to cast it on the selected token. A little bit annoying that you've got two different ways of doing it depending on what spell you're casting. So Burning Hands, for example, if I was casting Burning Hands, it's going to ask me to place that template, which is great. Um, and it's going to do it that way. Oh, hang on, who was casting? You were casting. I can pop that down and now I've got my Burning Hands template. And you can see it comes up here, I can roll my damage, it's prompting me for the saving throw, and it's asking me to place the template. Now I already placed the template, so I don't want to do that again. Um, now somebody asked about a spell effect that they had done, um, and I did answer them in the comments, and I'm not sure if what they were after, but because I've put this spell template down, and they were like, how do I get rid of it now? Because it's not an effect to be able to remove. It is... Does it go down as a tile? Um, no, it goes down as a, here we go. So it's under this one, measurement controls. Uh, and now it shows up because as you can see, we've got cone template, rectangle template, and ray template, they're on here. So when we go to this measure tool, this is where we can then select it and delete it. So just a little side note for whoever that was. Oh, sorry, I can't remember who it was, but somebody asked that and they had a problem with spell templates, not being able to get rid of them. Because again, that's not necessarily particularly intuitive, is it? Um, it does say here it's placing a template, but this option is called measure controls rather than templates. Might be nice if it was called templates, I think. But there we go. Anyway, sorry, sidetracked. Again, always get sidetracked. So sometimes this is working for shield and things like that. It's still not working for bless, and that's what I don't understand. And the reason why I particularly don't understand it is because when, when I quickly tested this before starting this video, it did work. What the hell is going on? Let's try it again. Cast Bless. There we go. It's not there. Um, what is quite an important thing I think I need to try? Actually, I want to try it from this character. Cast Bless. Yep, still not working. One of the important things that we need to bear in mind is however it is working for us, is not necessarily how it's working for the player okay so i'm going to drag over from my other window Whoop, here we come now this is my player login okay so they are logged in as this character here so how does it work for the player casting their own spells we can open this up uh, we can go to our spells i mean i can say that i want to oh dear I can target them. I can't select their tile. This is going to be the problem, isn't it? I can target them. I can't select their tile. So if I can't select their tile, if I want to cast something um, like Shield of Faith, oops. Okay, it's going to put the description up there. It's not giving me an effect. I can't apply the effect. What if I untarget? Try that again can't apply the effect hmm what about bless so why it says jump to bottom I shrink that up a bit so it's giving me the other formula it's giving me this this is the spell bless but I can't choose who I put that effect on as the DM got it so this is the DM screen again the DM hasn't got this ability to apply that effect so like i say this is a pure version of it no mods or anything literally created this just before this video um, as a new world um, slap these things on it's just not working not for me not for me at all uh guiding bolt i get to do my attack and stuff let's uh, attack this one over here i can roll my attack Great, fine. Um, I can do my damage and everything else like that. So that all of that works. Remember, this is now the player view. But if the player casts, let's um, let's give you back your spells. It's interesting that the player can do that and give them back themselves their own spells. Um, yeah. And if I cast bless again, still not coming up. Go back to the DM's view. 
This is the DM's view. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. I haven't got spell effect. Can't do it. Broken, innit? <laughs> this one doing it. It's not working. So I just wanted to kind of show that that's, that was the, the challenge that I had. That for me, it just isn't working. Um, and that whole idea of instead of targeting players and actually selecting their tokens it's not going to work for um, it's not going to work for the players because they can't select other tokens um yeah so i think we have to go back to our way now what i do want to do though is we've, we've kind of proved that the, the base way for me isn't working even with a completely clean setup for whatever reason um and my understanding is that should work out of the bag out of the box out of the out of the whatever um I, I shouldn't have to be fiddling around making changes and things. Somebody did make the comment, and they're absolutely correct. But if I go to the SRD and go to the spells, okay, and let's uh, let we'll use bless. And if I import bless, uh, there are things that I could potentially change on here. Um, to do with uh, the targeting and things like that. Now, this is not something I've fiddled around with too much. Um, activation cost, target one creature. Yeah, see, it says their target, sorry, not one creature, three creatures. It says target three creatures, but it doesn't work using target. It uses, you have to actually have the token selected, not targeted. So that doesn't seem to quite be working the way that I would have thought this is. Um, and I can certainly edit things like effects here. So what have we got in effects that we might be able to change? Now again, we shouldn't have to make changes as far as I'm concerned. Um, so this is going to affect system bonuses, ability saving throws, add 1d4, uh, melee attack, it's going to add 1d4, etc. Uh, range, ranged attacks as well so it's doing the effect but it's not that I can see in here there's effect suspended what's that for now it says if checked this effect will be applied to any actor that owns the effects parent item what don't understand what that means help if you do know what that means and effect suspended not sure what that means either I mean that would suggest it doesn't apply the effect. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? But let's just check this is the version that we've got imported over here. Effect suspended. Let's give, uh, you're a wizard, aren't you? So because you're a wizard, you're a wizard only, you don't have it. But what we can do is give you that innate spell casting ability. Oh no, I've given you the temporary effect. So I find that irritating as well. I want to give them the innate spell casting ability, which I have, but it automatically applies effect. Right, so let's, what happens if this guy tries to cast it? Let's go back to our chat. Let's clear our chat. Doesn't work. Now I'm just looking in the other window at the chat in the other window. That player hasn't got anything saying, yes, please apply it to me. It hasn't applied to the wizard. As far as I'm concerned, the 3.0 is not doing what it's supposed to. Um, I don't know what I'm missing. I shouldn't have to edit spells anyway to make them work. I think that's, that would, would show that it's broken. I'm having to do that to do basics. So I'm going to go back to my way of doing it. But remember, we just kind of found out by having the players one up that the player here can't select other tokens. So that is going to give us the issue of can the player actually cast Bless on other characters when they haven't got access to those tokens. Let's flip over to our other one and we'll, uh, we'll try that and we'll find out. I'll see you in just a couple of minutes on the other one. Okay, here we are. We have moved over to Stormwreck Isle. Uh, you can just see at the top here, um, it's just literally done the update to 3.0.3 for the game engine. Um, so here we are back in here. This is where we've got our defreds and everything else 
already set up that was working quite nicely for us. Uh, now again I have given, you can see my player character Bob is logged in and I've given him ownership of Randall and of Haley, um, so that we can test some things. Um, what I've also done, in fact actually I'm going to start over there with that character in a moment, what I've also done is given Bob, um, if I go to actors, go to Sorryman and look at configure ownership, um, I thought I had given him limited access to Sorryman. Oops, don't want to do that. Um, so Baldrick configuration, so no access to Baldrick, limited to Sorryman, ownership over these two. And let's just have a look at configure ownership, limited observer. So there we go. So we've got some options there. We've got some of these tokens are owned by Bob, the player. Some of these tokens they've got um, limited access to and some of them observer. So we'll see if that makes a difference here. Okay, so let's run this as normal. Let's open up Haley. Sounds like we're going to butcher vivisection. Uh, okay, right, Haley. Let's cast your. I'll give you all your spells back. <laughs> let's cast your bless. She's going to consume that. She casts it on herself. Ah, oh, bless is one I didn't update. Right, take that back. Okay. But notice I haven't got the apply effect thing here. It did play around animation and stuff. Because uh, I, I didn't update the... Um, I was doing it with Shield of Faith. So apologies. Let's do it with Shield of Faith. Cast spell. Get our animation. It applies our Shield of Faith. No problem. Um, that works fine. Let's cast it on Baldrick. So we're going to select his token. Shield of Faith. He gets Shield of Faith exactly what we want. Haley gets the animation, that's fine. It plays on the caster, not the recipient. Um, will I change that? I might do at some point. I think it'd be better if the effect played on the character that is receiving the spell, especially for things like shield. Uh, a little bit weird otherwise. Not a deal breaker. <laughs> Let's get it playable first, or at least playable in a way that I want it to be playable. Okay, so that all works. Let's recharge Haley up there. It's fine. Um, also, just quickly remove these from these characters here. Uh, sorry, Haley, you're no longer protected. There we go. Okay, right. So let's bring across Bob. Da da. So this is again. This is our player, Bob, who has control of. Hang on a second. Let me unpause the game because you can't move tokens while it's paused. Okay, so Bob has control of Randall. Bob also has control of Haley. Can't. Oh, look. Even though he's got limited. He can, because he's got some... He's got observer rights to Nundro. He can open Nundro's character. Limited for Sorryman. So he can only read biography. And nothing for here. Okay, so let's see how spell casting goes. We've got full control of Haley. Excellent. Let's, uh, ooh, it's a bit big. Move over to one side so we can see our tokens. Thank you very much, Haley. Okay, spell casting. Now we want to be doing Shield of Faith. Can Bob the player cast Shield of Faith on himself? Play the animation. Do not have permission to execute the macro. Okay, so it didn't play the animation. Uh, sorry, it did play the animation, but it didn't apply the effect because, and this is really useful, and it's something to do with my macro, isn't it? Where, do, where will I find that macro? Should I be fixing this right now? Probably not. <laughs> stop stop doing it. I need to do it. I need to do it. So this this is the macro. Uh, import it. Execute for specific user everyone. Okay, is that, is that now what we want? Where does it stick that macro when we import it? Stick it down here for the moment so we've got access to it. Okay, aha, uh -huh. everyone, save. Everyone, okay. 
So the macro that is on, right, let's go back to Bob, let's try that again. Because we have to solve this. If we can't solve this, this whole using animations, using D threads and stuff, obviously becomes a bit bloody pointless. Let's try again, Haley. Okay, still don't have permission from the macro. So that's something else I'm gonna to have to go back and look at. Just check our chat. We still can't apply that effect here. Okay. Right, so Haley, what happens if you try and cast that on somebody else? Um, you can't select them. You can select Randall. But it won't apply the effect because Haley hasn't got permission. Sorry, Bob. Bob hasn't got permissions. I'm going to cast it on somebody else like that. How interesting. It played the animation there. So our big problem right at the moment is fixing that macro so that the player can use it. But as you can see, we're still stuck in a position. No point for the player has it come up about putting on that effect. Um, and again, on the DM screen, no point has it asked to apply that effect. So we've still got quite a problem. Um, we can see that Soriman is targeted here by Bob but we're playing the animation, we're not getting that effect working. So again, that 3.0, even though it's been updated to 3.0.3, not working in the very base, no, uh, no add-ons modules at all, it's not working. Um, and in here, again, it, it's not working. Uh, and big part of the problem under the default is the fact that for some spells, it applies it to the selected token and players can't select other tokens. Um, because, as we saw, even though Bob has levels of ownership, uh, none, uh, limited, and observer, I'm clicking on them and I can't select them. I can only select my characters. Can't select anybody else's. So it's not doing what we need. Back to our way, although this has also given us another problem, which is the fact that we need to update our macros to make sure that the players are allowed to run those macros. That's probably quite simple to do. I might do that in the background if I get stuck. I'll, uh, I'll do a little video and show you how I fixed it. Cheers, guys. Didn't get anywhere at all with this one, did we? But it does prove what our problem is and the fact that I still want to be using... Uh, D threads, automated animations, etc., to run my games. Take care.